Equid offers you multiple options to get paid. And in this video, I want to take you through some of the options that you have available. I'm here under configuration and payment. And on this page, you'll see the main payment gateways listed. I'm in the United States. So this screen and the options you see may vary from what you see in your own store. But connecting any of these three specifically is quite simple. You click connect with Stripe, for instance, and it's going to take you to the Stripe signup screen where you can connect with Equid. Now, if you already have an account, well, you just click sign in and then simply click connect my Stripe account. And you'll see that Stripe is connected and operational. You'll also see with Stripe that I can use Apple Pay. It will list whatever domains and instance sites you have available. You can turn those on and off if you want. However, you will need to verify the domain for each one you're using. So in this case, Apple Pay would only be accepted where my site is embedded in an actual domain. Or if I want, I can disable Apple Pay altogether. One of the big benefits of using Stripe is that customers can allow their credit card details to be saved. Now, this is not saved at Equid. It's completely stored at Stripe. And so customers can do that with confidence. If you're going to enable more than one payment processor on your site, the name at checkout needs to be unique for each one. In this case, I'm going to use credit card via Stripe. I can also add some instructions at checkout. With something like this, your payment will be processed by Stripe. We do not store your credit card information on our store. People like to know that. Well, once all of the options are set the way you want, you can click Save and click Back. And now Stripe is ready to take payments on my store. Square is another terrific option. If you're using the Square POS, for instance, this is absolutely the option you should use. It's easy to sign up and easy to configure. Many people really like PayPal as well. If I click Enable PayPal, it'll pop up to the top where you can now edit the settings. Equid will use your Equid email address initially, but that can be changed here under the account settings. You can enable or disable PayPal checkout on the cart page. You can even show the PayPal credit button as well. Of course, you can update the name of this payment option. And once again, you can set up the payment instructions at checkout. Once you've done that, click Save. So let's take a look at our store and see our new payment gateways. Now, when I have something in my shopping cart, I'm able to choose my payment processor, whether I want to use Stripe or PayPal. You'll notice as soon as I clicked on that, the embedded credit card payment form went away. And when I click pay with PayPal, I'll be redirected to PayPal. If a customer chooses to pay with Stripe, it's right here inside of your store. There are a ton of different payment methods that may be available to you depending on the country that you're in. Here in the United States, we've got Authorize.net, American Express Payment Gateway, Bank of America, Chase. These will change according to your country. If you don't see one in the list, you can use our Equid Payment API documentation to help you set up a custom payment gateway. Our Equid customization team is another great resource to help you with this setup. And finally, just a reminder, all transactions are processed by third-party payment providers who have their own rules and may charge extra fees. Be sure to check these details with your preferred payment processor when setting up a payment method. So no matter what kind of payment options you need to use, Equid has you covered so that you can get paid for the products and services you provide.